has. And uh, as we've seen earlier in his earlier sets, he definitely has those on deck. Yeah, and so, you know, of course, Deneem, as you said, he has his fair share of experience against JW, literally one of the best, best Greninja players on the planet. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, if you're Jason, it's like, yo, pick your poison. It looks like he is going to offer the Greninja, though. We're getting right into it. Fist bumps on deck, guys. This is Jason Wa from Ottawa going up against Tamim from Toronto. Let us get it. Game one. Three, Winners, finals, two, pools. All right, here we go. Town and City, game number one. Honestly, I am okay with this pick, and especially their Greninja pick. I think this is probably the, what's going to give Jason Wa the best chance here. I agree with you, team. I agree with you. We got already damage game from Tamim looking strong. 42% on that conversion. Chasing yeah. up to the depths. Yeah, quick 60 on Jason out here. Uh, but I mean, a good thing about this match for, for if you're both players, both of them are going to make it into the top 48. Uh, one in winners, one in losers. Yeah, there's a, a lot of breathing room for both guys, essentially, is what, is what you're trying to say. And I get it, you know what I mean? So there, there is a little bit of a, of, of a weight off your back in that sense. But I'm sure both dudes want to make it into winner side if possible. So they're going to be playing as hard as they can for sure. Oh, absolutely. Already at 111% is Jaysawa on the first stock. All right, yeah, good back here. Yeah, Tamim doing a good job, just kind of playing evasive right now, not really trying to get too aggressive. He's got a huge lead, so he doesn't really need to. Um, but, I mean, if you give Greninja enough time, he will bring it back on you. So you definitely Big want to fact. take the stock sooner rather than later. 100%. Okay, using that Witch Twist out of, uh, you know, instantaneously, essentially, to get into an advantage state. Good stuff. It's funny, D. We talk about the uh, matchup situation being so good for, uh, J uh, for Tamim as far as, like, who he's played. Whereas it's 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 like the polar opposite for Jason because how many really good Bayos even exist? You know what I'm saying? Like in yeah. this game, right? I mean, yeah. there's probably a, a few far in between. So it's, uh, it's mostly just to me, to be honest. Yeah, Jason's gonna have to you know use whatever matchup knowledge he remembers from four in this game, of course, and that's gonna do it as far as four throw goes, as well as his fundamentals to try and win against the meme. It's not impossible, but it's gonna be hard as the meme is showing us right now in this first game. Yeah, that forward air is still just as powerful. Oh, it doesn't get the sweet spot on that up smash, unfortunately. So not gonna take that stock. But he is going to... Oh, small combo. Yeah, that air dodge getting punished. Yeah, Jason was doing a good job escaping, at least at this point. Oh, yeah. Wow. Say, wow. Say, you, you try to get on my ledge? Get off my ledge. Get off my ledge. You don't belong there. You don't belong there at all. Nice opening here for Jason. Able to break things back. All right. Nice switch twist out of shield there. Going to get a bit of damage there. Yup. Sends Jason off stage. So he's, even if he has that leg, it's still in a safe spot. All right, nice combo there from Tamim. 108 or 116 now on Jasawa. In trouble. Nice tech. Yeah, good tech. Yeah, jasawa has got to do something about these seal slides. He's getting hit by too many of them. Yeah, he definitely is. Already at 150% D. Fighting back right now, though not able to get two up airs in a row on the other one. All right, Tamim trying to open up the stock. Yeah, Tamim responding well with these wish twists out of shield. Oh my goodness, not gonna kill just yet. Very close though. One more of those, I know for a fact Jason probably won't be able to take. Yeah, Jason was slowing things down, taking his time. You can't really get Tamim to come to you really, cause I mean, with this big of a lead, but exactly. Uh, he's definitely trying to slow the pace down a little bit and alleviate some of the pressure Tamim is putting on him. For sure, yeah. I feel like a lot of the good players in this game, you know, regionally, locally, uh, you know, PGR or whatever, I feel like they understand better than almost everybody else that sometimes when you've got a lead, playing passive and understanding your win condition is 90% of the time how you keep the lead and win. Oh, you know, yeah. Being able to make that switch and that that's going to kill for 100%, obviously. And I feel like Tamim has showcased that in that stock tremendously. Absolutely. And if Jason was letting you do it, like, why not? Exactly, you know? Great fair. Jason kind of on the counter attack here. What can you do for the ledge trap? There we go. Yeah, you want to punish those heal slides because he means giving them to you. Nice. Oh, unable to get that down tilt up smash. I think it actually might have killed on the stage still. All right. Jason, what? Trouble here. Off stage. All right. I like the weight. Unfortunately, still gets hit. Ooh. Oh, oh okay. no. No up B after that side B. Yeah, it looked like Jason kind of for a second there might have been, uh, I'm not going to say surprised that Tamim came that low, but even I was a little bit shocked that my man decided to go that deep for the edge card. Either way, it worked. Either way, it worked. Good stuff.
it looks like uh, Jason asked for some water. He's taking the wrap off. Yeah, yo, we, we're on stream here. You can't oh, have any okay. labels on stream. You're right, you're right. I somehow didn't think of that. <laughs> Get that uh, Dasani out of here. All right, hot take, Diangle Eye. I love Dasani. <laughs> Even hotter take, water is water. I like that. <laughs> you are you are a woman of culture, let me tell you. Because everybody's literally telling me, like, Dasani's trash. I'm, like, drinking. I'm, like, how? It's water. It's getting the job done. It's water. It's water until I drink Nestle. I can't, <laughs> I can't take Nestle. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we apologize for the for the water talk, but we're getting into uh, uh, game two on Kalos. This is no, 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 no. The water talk is relevant. There's a good ninja on the yeah, screen. What right. are you talking you know about? What talking about? Hydro pump gang all day, every day, man. Yeah, yeah. we get that water right now. What you mean? You know, uh, drink your water, guys. Yeah, yo, ever on, ever on Kalos? Come on. <laughs> Don't be thirsty. Don't be thirsty. Hey, All right, I know, guys. I know Bayonet is on screen, but calm down. Uh, we see you guys in the back. We see you. You might not think we don't see you, but we see you. Oh, yeah, we see you. Anyways, getting into game two on Kalos. Oh, my goodness, to me, going deep. Uh, All right. No wall clean necessary there for Jason. Up tilt. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay, wisely avoids that uh, forward air. And that's why he survived. Oh, but he gets caught. Oh, my goodness. Okay, oh, but... Oh, oh, my goodness. Goodness, to meme covered everything and then some. He just had him off stage and it's like, all right, this thing doesn't kill. Okay, this thing doesn't kill. Have oh, you, the have, guns? Oh, have, those kill. Have you ever been to Fabricland and tried to buy bed sheets for your bed, but you buy too much bed sheets so it covers more than you wanted for it to cover? That's what the meme did right there to Jaso. That was, that was OD. He said, you, you leave him with extra. Nah, we nah, got pillowcases out here too. I'm, uh, they, they, they're, they're ahead of the game right now and it looks like to meme is. Okay, Ooh, good counter, okay, good counter. Yeah. Or, I mean, just a great option there from Jason, but to me, had it scouted. So yeah, absolutely. Scary. Yeah, to me, I'm showing he's in great control of this match right now. He's the down airs are coming out. You know that when those come out, to me, he's feeling himself. For sure, for sure. That's a great indication. Man. All right. Forward airs, nice, nice to lay on that one. The mix-up game from Tamim is so strong. I like, like the that. down air from Jason while here, there, just trying to get himself out of dodge, get himself a little bit more breathing room. It could be tough, tough time to get back to the stage. Oh, nice playing. Yeah, great wait. Jason, that's one thing he's very good at with your ninja. Waiting for the uh, crab, and he just got it. All right, on, on ledge again. Got to be careful. You do, for sure. One of those back airs will take it. You don't really have to worry about the combos so much anymore, because those aren't really going to kill you unless you get paired at the edge. But you definitely got to look out for those back airs. Ooh, right. team had the read, but didn't go for it. He tried to get some sort of a tech chase going there. I like the idea from Tamim for sure. Not quite. Jason. Up throw. Up air. Oh, okay. Ooh. He had the right idea to try to punish it with the forward tilt. Just didn't quite yeah. work out. His mind's definitely in the right place. Yeah, absolutely. Dash attack. All right, Jason while bringing it back a little bit here, but that forward air is going to kill. My goodness. Nice mix up there from Tamim. Able to get that uh, conversion to get off. Absolutely. One of, one of uh, the few kill options that Bayo has that's kind of consistent there, because it does send you up and away. On point. Oh, nice parry. One thing Jason that is very good at that we really haven't seen too much of in the set is his parrying. Like it's, it's really solid. So, Yeah, I mean, I think if he's going to use those on deck, though, you got to see a better punish. Like that F smash there, going to take got it. Him. Got him with the slice. Jason looking good on this third stock. Able to tie things up. Oh, got to be careful. All right, Jason was still, still very much alive here. Only 68%. It's not too bad. Oh, without question, Grenade is actually an incredible character as far as putting on damage fast, let me tell you. There it is, up air, another one, not quite. Tamimi is wise, Tamimi is wise, just gonna jump away from it. Yeah, back air. All right, F-Tilt. I feel like Jason's doing a great job avoiding these combo stars from Tamim as opposed to the first game. He really that, is, yeah. That air dodge, a little bit scary, but able to live another day. Oh, fourth, oh no, not the fourth throw. He tried to bait him with the up throw. Wait for the landing punish. Ah, out of range to punish the lag. Good mix up from Tamim as far as being able to land differently. That's yeah, and this is where, as Bayo, it's a little scary because you know you can kill them right now, but you really need like a back air or the gun 
because uh, your combos aren't going to kill anymore. And on the flip side, the Greninja only needs one well-placed down tilt or nair to get a fair or, or an up smash or something Absolutely. to get the job done with all the rage. So, you know. Yeah, there it speaking is. Speaking of, speaking of, what? And that's going to take the game. I mean, I mean. Uh, that's what we were talking about. We That's literally really just talked about the fact that all Jason needed was one well-placed down tilt and or nair or something, and he gets the up smash. And I feel like the the biggest change in that game compared to game one, I feel like Jason just did a lot better using the space he had to just yeah, maneuver. Yeah, absolutely, around. absolutely. And that's what that's what you're going to get with a big stage like Kalos is you're going to get more room to work. You're going to get more room to run away to not get trapped in those combos where team Absolutely. will smother you. So easy to see that, you know, Jason felt himself a little bit more using the combo game, understanding he was never out of it. You know what? At that percent against any character, sometimes, you know, us as players feel like, oh, man, you know, I'm at 140 percent. I literally am just I'm about to die. Jason's like, nah, I'm, I got faith in what my options and I'm going to execute accordingly. And that's exactly what he did. Yeah. Going to a game three. Absolutely. Jason just saying, you know what? You can't beat me if you can't hit me. That's a fact. That's so a fact. I'm just going to not get hit. The old mantra is don't get hit. And not only did Tamim get hit, he got hit by Downton. So. Yeah. And here we go. Game number three. Going to be on Town and City. I actually like this stage for Jessoa in yes. this situation. Because uh, you're going to get the room just like you did on Kalos. Yeah, there's more platforms. But uh, if he keeps up the same strategy he had, uh, I think he can put in some work here. But right now, Tamim taking him up high with the ladder. Yeah, you know, every game so far, I started off with Tamim essentially getting some crazy percentage off. And this is no different. Absolutely, yeah. Already 89 or 98%. Sorry, un unanswered. So, Jason Well, got to get things started here. All right, bats within. So, once again, just Jason Well, you know, activates that mode where he just doesn't get hit. Yeah, that's okay. He can make this comeback. Something Greninja is just so good at in this game is, you know, being a low-profile character, being so fast on the ground, being having such great airspeed. Essentially, he has some of the best movement in the game, is what I'm trying to say, both on the air, in the air, and on the ground. Absolutely. And if you're Jason, you know, use your Fade and Punish playstyle to kind of play to that. But to me, again, right now, doing a great job putting on the damage. He doesn't care about how you're playing seemingly so far. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay. Platform kind of saving Jessel off from that combo. Good get-up attack. Definitely key. Back throw, not gonna kill. Nice Arnia dare to get through. Already at 167. Okay. But again, you know, Fail Fail isn't gonna kill you unless she gets a back air. You are not incorrect, D. You are on the money and you know. Fourth throw. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. It's gonna die. Though I won't even lie to you, I, I didn't know if he was gonna die Yeah, I feel like I feel like the DI had a had something to do with that. Oh. Gonna get caught off stage with that nair. Protect. But the Witch Twist, active frames are still going to help him out there. Yeah, so Tamim already off to a solid start. Oh, that's Corner. a bad spot to be in. Yeah, that's, yeah that's a, that's, that was like literally the worst spot to be in against Tamim offstage. Absolutely. And, uh, we oh, finally Witch Time already. Yeah, Jason was having a really tough time here. Seriously. Looking, looking like a bit of an insurmountable lead here. Yeah, three stocks is nothing to uh, joke about. It's a meme's building on the percent. It's just getting worse and worse. If you're Jason, well, you got to take not just one, but two stocks off in order to be in the game. And, you know, easier said than done against somebody of Tamim's caliber. Absolutely. But, I mean, it starts with one stock, and if you have a stock, you got a chance. So, I love that quote. Let's see what he can do. I'm probably going to steal that one. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, I stole it from E, so there you, you know go. what? There you go. <laughs> what goes around comes around. Tamim in space in these aerials, trying to get something off. Oh, I've said it so many times so far, but what a mix-up. He's just so good mixing up his options. He even mix up himself. Yeah. You know. <laughs> he patented, right. uh, patented Tamim SD coming out there. I like it. If Jason can, you know, take this stock off, like, in a jiffy, he's back in this game. Absolutely. But Tamim not looking like oh, he's going to get yeah that, yeah, that was a really bad spot to be yeah, in. Yeah, get him out of here. Really rough spot to be in. Jason going to lose that 1-2 to Tamim. Tamim going to take that via winner side and move on to the top 48 on that Yeah, side absolutely. Wins. So now both of these players are going to move on to top 20 or top 48. We're going to get we're going to see Jason again on the loser side of the bracket. He's not out of the tournament. He's still got a chance. Nah, he's got a chance. Uh, 